I had so much fun in Liverpool this time, I fell really deeply in love with it. It's a picture of me and the John Lennon statue on Matthew Street, where the Beatles used to hang out. I took a tour with Fab Four taxi tours. It cost 50 pounds, but you can split it with up to five people. I only brought one. I brought my mate, Jamie. His favorite artist is Bob Dylan, but he does love the Beatles. That plaque is on the hospital wall where John Lennon was born. This is a school, university building where the Beatles studied. And those cases there in cement are called the case history of Liverpool. Someone stole George Harrison's case. Boo! The cathedral where Paul McCartney was a choir boy. And then we went to Penny Lane. It's so magic being there. It's just, if you're a Beatles fan, it's, it's like one long orgasm. If you're a Beatles fan, you have to go to Liverpool. This is where the Strawberry Fields Orphanage was, and the building's gone now, but they kept the gate up. And the tour guide said someone actually stole the gate, but Yoko donated another one and paid for everything, all the restoration and everything. So that was really nice of Yoko. I love Liverpool. I wish I could move there. That's John Lennon's childhood home where Aunt Mimi raised him because his mom was killed when he was a boy. Down that street, actually, his mom was killed. She was run over by an off-duty police officer, drunk. So that's Menlove Avenue where John grew up. And if you contact the National Trust, you can actually have a tour of that house. This is the Walton graveyard where Eleanor Rigby was, is buried. The Beatles used to hang out in this graveyard. I'm assuming they smoked pot and drank, probably had some chicks around. I've been there, this is the third time I've taken this tour, but always a few years apart, so. This time I did it in style with a personal tour. Last time it was just like a flyby. This is George Harrison's childhood house. The woman doesn't like people coming and taking pictures, so I did it really quick. But this is the street in the house that George lived in. Even the airport is dedicated to the Beatles in Liverpool. How fucking cool is that?